Hi, I'm going to show how to reset and do the setting for KSU FX570 in X plus week calculator. So now we are in the menu. Okay. So first of all, press menu 1. And then you want to reset all the previous memory. You may click Shift 9. So you want to set up the data. 2 is memory. 3 is initialize it off. So I will click this one. Number 3, okay, to reset all the memory. Yes, you just press click 1. And then press AC. After that, okay. And then, okay, uh, you may press shift menu. Shift menu. You can do the setting for input, output, anchor unit, number format, engineer symbol, fractions result, complex and okay, or complex menu, statistic menu, spreadsheet menu, equation of functions, table, decimal marks, digit separator, okay, multi line form, QR code, contrast. So first of all, we look at the how to do the space setting for your input and output. Okay, then press one. You have okay, the setting for your max okay, This is to display max input, max output. So okay, this is a max input, max output. So when you key in fraction, you get the fraction max input, max output. Okay. Oh, okay. The second one, max input, you have this. Decimal output. So shift menu, shift menu, the input, max input, decimal outputs. This is when you key in 2 over 4 plus 9 23. So you get this one. So mean key for max input, the input in the key. Okay, Fractions, but you get in the third one. Okay, or the third one line input line output. So means okay, you will not uh, display your fraction in the natural display, but in this form. So this is line input line output. So shift the node under the input number three line input line output. So so in this case, uh, you click the fraction to this one. You would display in the natural display. You get okay, this, this format. Okay, the third one, line input but decimal outputs. So shift menu. So line input decimal output number four. So you keep in two fractions here. Nine, five, so this is the first setting for your input output. Later on, we can do the setting for angle unit. So shift menu to skip to do the setting for your angle number two. We can have the angle in terms of degree, radian, or gradient. Okay, for example, let's say I want degree. You see, okay, I want degree, and then I. Force okay, uh, forty five. Okay, of the one that's a tangent forty five. This one, this is input in the degree. Okay, of shift menu, angle unit, you change to radian. Okay, in radian, then of forty five, you have to key in pi over four. Engine. So this is line input. So you change, let's see, shift menu. The input output will prefer the max input, max output number one. Then our tangents, okay, uh, pi over 4. Okay. 
you see it happening. So this is a control K, your angle in terms of degree or gradient. Okay, the third one, the number formats. Okay, number format. So you can shift menu. Okay, you can set the okay, number formats. Three K. You can fix K. Fix K means you can fix how K to how many decimal place. Okay, for example, let's say I just fix. Okay, let's say I fix uh, three decimal place. Then, for example, okay, I want one divide three. You need to convert okay, in the this is in the max input max output if you want the protein okay, you need to press this button so we are I already fixed this in three decimal place if you choose a scientific key okay, the number format number three scientific key okay, you may select how many that you want you choose the nine okay, this scientific I'm 10 to the power of negative one Nine decimal place. Okay. Or you want the normal one. Shift menu. Number format number three. So this is a normal. Okay. Scientific key will have a This scientific just now we have a three point three three times ten to the power of negative one. Okay, this is a normal. And then okay, later on the engineering symbol. Shift menu. Okay, the engineer symbol. So engineer symbol number four. Okay, you may turn on or off your engineer symbol. Okay, let's say one will turn on. So this is in mini. So one thousand is one k. Okay. Shift. Engineer symbol. Let's say I copy. So it's one thousand. Set up number five exactly for your fraction result. Okay. Shift or no? Okay. We have gone through the input output angle unit number format engineer symbol. The fraction result, okay, you may have okay, this type of fractions. You have integer with the fraction part or only the fractions. Say number one. Choose okay, one, let's say eight divide three. So it can give you these formats. Okay, if shift menu, fraction result, I choose okay, number two. Then you get eight over three. Okay, and then uh, let me know the notes here. Okay. Shift menu. Okay, the complex K okay, for you to do the setup for your complex K. Okay. And statistic, okay, you can turn on the frequency table, okay, on and off your frequency table. Okay. So um, this one I turn on the frequency table. So you need to go to the menu statistic, okay, menu. Statistic six okay, one variable. Uh, so this is turn on or off your frequency table. Okay, this one if you have the data with the frequency table, then you turn on the frequency table. Okay, if you have only the data without frequency table, then you turn off it back. So, number one, shift on no. Okay. That is for okay, uh, statistic okay, for spreadsheets. You can okay, do auto calculate or you want to show the cell. Okay, for example, okay, yeah, it shows uh, my auto calculate. Auto calculation on. And then to do this, you have to go to the spreadsheet menu. Okay, spreadsheet. Okay. Let's see. A is okay. use some example for you to see what is the meaning paper for that.
for example, we are going to keep in the cell A1 is 0, cell A2 is 1, okay, and then we um, see this is 2, okay, let's say the cell B, it is, calculate, is 2 times of cell A1, so alpha A1. And then I'm going to copy the formula here. Copy the formula. So I go to options, options. Okay, edit cells, space. Copy and paste is number two. Let's go down, I paste it. I go down, I paste it. So this is very several okay, of the formula. Then um, skip. This is no one, two, three, three. Okay. I have a column A. Okay. Start from zero, one, two, three. B is actually two times of the two times of the A. So we got two A one. 2A2, 2A3, 2A4. Okay, and then you want to do the setting. Sometimes you want to you don't want to show this formula, you want to show the value. Then you can go to shift menu, shift menu, spreadsheets, okay, auto calculate shows uh, two. Okay, you can show formula or you want to show the value. However, default is show the formula or you want to show the value from the two. So click in here, this is the value. Because sometimes uh, if the floating point is not uh, enough to display in the cell, you want to see the full number. So you can see at here. So this is key for you to do the setting for shift menu here. Uh, spreadsheets. Okay, either you show the click cell number two, show formula or show value. Menu one, shift menu. So you have covered up. Uh, statistic can show the frequency table or uh, spreadsheet. You can show the value or show the formula. Okay, equations or functions. You can set. Uh, you can display. You want to show the complex result. Okay, uh, to turn on or turn off. So this is key to con control the multi-line form. We want to do the setting for QR code, the contrast. Okay, and table, okay, say number two table here. Uh, you can, or the table menu, you can click control. You want to display only one function or two functions. Okay, let's say if one, then you go to menu, you find the table. So you can only input in this case is only one function. So this is default or table. Okay? Default we start the value okay? one five step is five image hit it accordingly. So this is display only one function. Okay? If you want default is actually two functions. Eh? Table. So we display number two now. Fx is here. Gx, let's say, and then you may okay, uh, plot here, shift options, you display the graph for you of two functions here. But the range okay, you can change it here so if not displayed clearly. From set three to two. So this is a graph of the x squared, this is a graph of cos x from negative three to three. And then shift First, close the QR code, shift menu, menu, transfer, shift menu, 
So basically for equations or function just now. Oh, okay, to turn on or turn off the complex result. Table, okay, you can control whether to input two functions or one function. Okay, and this is a decimal mark digit separator. It is not that important. Okay, separate shift or no shift or no. So the input first thing <coughs> have gone through. Okay, uh, covered up. How to okay <coughs> do the setting for input output input output. We've got four types, max input, max output, max input, decimal output, line input, line output, line input, decimal output. Okay, control the angle you want, degree or radian. Okay, the number formats, you want to fix it to how many decimal places for your numerical calculation. Or you want to display in scientific notation or the normal okay, display. Okay, your entry may turn on or off your engineer symbol. Okay, you may control the display for your fraction result. Okay, and then okay, you select here. This one. Uh, you can, for statistics, you can show frequency table. Okay, turn on or off spreadsheet. You can show okay, the formula or value. And then equations, okay, whether you want complex or complex okay, value, you want to show or on or off. Table, okay, not table just now. Table you can okay display one uh, input one function or two functions. Okay, with this case, uh, thank you for attention. Okay, for how to initialize, reset everything, and do some setting in your okay, Casio Classic calculator. Thank you for attention.